Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Versic MRI, and this is a 17-year-old male who pitches and has shoulder pain, and he has a labral tear, and this video shows a post-arthrogram versus just a regular shoulder MRI to see the difference and what a labral tear looks like. So you can do an MRI with no contrast like this. This little wedge here is the labrum. Here's the humeral head, this round ball. Here's the humeral neck and shaft. This bone here is part of the scapula called the glenoid. It makes a cup that the round ball rotates in and along the top and bottom we see a little black triangle called the labrum. So this patient has a torn superior labrum. This is the top superior and that little white divot here is a tear of the superior labrum. So this is without contrast. We see there definitely was a superior labral tear there. Sometimes cartilage that covers the joint can go underneath here and it can mimic a tear. So in this case you'd wonder, gosh, maybe that's just cartilage or maybe it is a tear but it looks more like a tear because it's a little bit wider and doesn't hug the bone very well. So looks like a labral tear. So I said there's a labral tear, but they could get a post-arthrogram one to see it better and just to totally confirm. So this is the same patient. Here's the back of the labrum, front of the labrum. And if we look in the back of the labrum, there's a little bit of signal back here, which is not quite normal, that little bright area in the back. Here's the black triangle there. And on this view here, there's a little bit of white stuff back here. This is fluid behind it. So it looks like maybe there's a tear right through here. Here's part of the labrum, here's part of the bone, the cortical bone, and it's fluid maybe leaking out back here. So we we'll call a tear of the superior labrum and a tear of the po adjacent posterior labrum with a little bit of leaking fluid. But just to make totally sure, we said, hey, let's just do an arthrogram um, and then do an MRI after that to see if this shows up any better. And of course it does. So this is just a good example of uh, the difference. So now here we go. This is the original one, no contrast. Now here's one with contrast. So on this view, uh, we see the fluid is white. And you can see here the fluid in the joint. And it goes up and then it goes into, <coughs> excuse me, into this labral tear here. Now it shows up much better. You can see how irregular it is. You can see the fluid going right in, into it. So there is a mild question before. Here there's no question. Definitely a tear of that superior labrum. It goes from the front to the back. It's right there. Now we we'll look on the other view and see if we can see it better back here as well. So here's where we had seen that linear band. We had seen that fluid along the back. And so again, we see similar things. Maybe it shows up a little bit better. And you can see a little band here, a little bit of contrast going into here. So it looks like the posterior superior labral tear is better seen. And there's a little bit of contrast along the back that's leaked out. So this is a good example of a post arthrogram MRI that shows labral tear better than the non-contrast, but again, the non-contrast, you can see the labral tear, it just doesn't show up quite as well. That's it. Thank you very much.